Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. So I don't know if you saw this yesterday or not, but uh, Home Assistant released uh, the latest version, 0.108. And uh, there were tons of cool features that came out with this new version. But I don't know if you caught this or not, but down towards the bottom of this here, under other noteworthy changes, it says that Alexa now has support for cameras. So basically, if you expose your home assistant cameras uh, in your configuration to Alexa then of course if you have an echo show then you could say Alexa show the front door camera and of course it's gonna pop up and show that front door camera on your uh, echo show pretty cool I was pretty excited about this feature, almost more so than any of the other uh, things that were listed in the uh, latest update. So I'm uh, looking forward to giving this a test and see how well it works. On another note, I hope everybody's staying safe out there. I hope everybody's families are staying safe, uh, making sure y'all are uh, social distancing, staying home. The faster we do that, of course, the faster uh, we can get through this and get back to normal. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So, of course, uh, for starters, uh, you need to sign up for Nabucasa. If you haven't done it at all yet, then, of course, you get a 30-day free trial. Uh, otherwise, uh, once you uh, get into it and start using it, it's 5 bucks a month. But to me, it is well worth the $5 a month. Now, I'm not going to argue with anybody that wants to uh, not have to pay for any cloud services. I get it. Uh, a lot of people don't want to spend the extra money, and, and you certainly don't have to do that. But for this to work the way it's supposed to, we need to use Nabucasa. Next step is, of course, enable cloud in our configuration. Once we do that, we are going to add the cameras uh, to the cloud.yaml file in our configuration. And then, of course, lastly, uh, we need to have Alexa do a discovery for those new devices. All right, once Alexa has discovered the new cameras, then of course, lastly, I'm just going to show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so as I already said, you have to sign up for Nabucasa if you want this to work right. If you haven't done it yet, then you get a 31 day free trial. Uh, after that, it's five bucks a month. So to me, I say it's worth it. If nothing else, do the 30-day trial, see what you think of it. Once you have signed up for Nabucasa, you're ready to enable cloud in the configuration. So at the top up there, we're going to click on Home Assistant Cloud. And then, of course, as you can see, I'm already signed in. If you weren't, you would be able to sign into your Nabucasa account there. Once you do that, then of course the section where it says Alexa, you'll want to make sure that you enable that by hitting the little toggle button there next to Alexa, and you're good to go. So we need to tell Alexa what devices we want Home Assistant to expose to Alexa. So we use our uh, cloud.yaml file. So under include entities, I need to add my cameras. So as you can see down here, I've added all five of my cameras. And then under entity configuration, if you want to add any additional stuff as far as like a description and a, a special name for Alexa to use, this is where you do that as well. And as you can see down here at the bottom, I've added all five of my cameras here. I've given them each a description and a name. Once you have all that in there, go ahead and save it. And then, of course, we are going to jump back over to the web interface here and do a check configuration, make sure everything looks good. And then we'll restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. All right, now I'm not sure if this step is required or not. My guess is if the newly added devices aren't showing up in uh, in the Alexa configuration, then you probably need to do a discover so that it will pull those in. I've already done that. So as you can see up here at the top, there's all five of my cameras. So I'm ready to go. All 
All right, so here we are at the last step here. I'm going to show you what this looks like in action. So as you can see, there is my little Echo uh, Echo Show. Give this a shot here and see if she can display my camera. Alexa, show me front one camera. Okay. Boom. There it is. Took it a second to pull in as it uh, had to query uh, Home Assistant, but other than that, it came up right away. Pretty awesome. Love the new feature. I'm so glad that this finally uh, works with Home Assistant and our Home Assistant cameras. That's pretty awesome. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So again, like I said, for starters, you need to sign up for Nabu Casa for this to work. Uh, once we did that, we enabled cloud in our configuration. After that, we added the cameras to our cloud.yaml file here. And then we jumped over to Alexa and did a discovery for it to pull in those newly added devices. Lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. I want to thank everybody for all the donations. Um, really appreciate it. Like I always say, every little bit helps. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.